Hi, I'm Luke, I'm the goggle buyer at LS Brigham. Uh, we're going to do a short video here to show you some of the differences between goggles and why you should choose one over another. Uh, they're really important on the mountains. Some people will be completely happy wearing sunglasses, but when the weather comes in, it starts snowing or the wind picks up, then a well-chosen pair of goggles will be invaluable. There's two main lens shapes with goggles. They're spherical and cylindrical. A spherical lens tends to be more optically correct. It's designed to fit more the shape of your eyeball. Um, so you tend to get less distortion with it. A cylindrical lens is cheaper to make, but it's just bent in one direction uh, or fused in one direction. As a result, you may notice a little more distortion with it, but it keeps the price of the goggle down. There's loads of different lens tints on the market and it can come a little confusing. The easiest way is to look at it in three different types. You've got dark lenses, which are great for when it's bright. You've got mid lenses, which tend to work for a variety of conditions. And then you've got real light colored lenses, which are great for when it's snowing and when it's white out and help you to see. Um, for example, yellows, oranges, pinks tend to work really well when it's snowing because they help to accentuate the light that actually passes through. You can see more and you can see more lumps, contours in the snow and see your way down the mountain better where a darker lens will help protect from the sun a lot better, but it's not going to help when it's snowing. You'll come across VLT, that stands for visual light transmission. It's the percentage of light that a goggle lens will let through. Uh, something with a low percentage lets through less amount of light. So, you know, it will work really well in bright days where something with a really high percentage lets through more light, which helps you to see. So they tend to be better when it's not sunny, when it's snowing, for example, or overcast. Different goggle brands use different technologies within their lenses to really help you enjoy every moment on the mountain. You've got Oakley with their Prism, Dragon with Loom Lens, and Smith with Chroma Pop. Uh, these lenses are designed to filter out different light spectrums. So they'll reduce the ones which make it harder to see contrast on the mountain while boosting the ones that help you to see and improve your vision out there. All the goggles that we sell use some form of anti-fog coating on the inner lens to help reduce any chance of them fogging up. Everything in the adult range and most of the kids also use a double layer lens which is a bit like double glazing on a house and it helps to keep the cold outside away from the heat of your face to further reduce the chances of it fogging. Some goggles come with two lenses for different light conditions uh, which is really important because you cover for everything you're going to face on the mountain. In the past it tended to be the most expensive goggles that would come with this but now it's filtered all the way down. Um, some goggles will use a very basic form of interchangeable lens where you just have to peel apart the frame itself and push them back in, while others might use some sort of lever at the side which allows the lens to be changed quicker and easier. This will vary depending on the price of the goggle. Frame details are important on a goggle. Uh, what you'll often find is some form of venting along the top or along the sides. This really helps the goggle to breathe further and it's important to keep this clear of snow. Um, also, between more expensive and cheaper goggles, there'll be different forms of foam. Some will use a single layer foam where most use a double or triple layer. This increased comfort and fit for the goggle itself. The other thing you might come across is OTG. This stands for over the glasses. and allows the goggle to fit over people who are wearing normal optical glasses. And usually it's some form of cutaway in the frame or foam itself and tends to be reserved for slightly deeper goggles where there's a bit more space in it. Goggles need looking after in order to last well. When you're not using them, try not to keep them on top of your head. Your head gets hot and you're just going to make them steam up. Uh, when you're at lunch, don't put them face down because you're going to end up scratching the lenses. And if they get wet throughout the day, then just leave them somewhere dry overnight. Um, not on a radiator because that's not great for the lenses. If it's got a removable lens, just pop it out and let it dry naturally. Goggles come in all different shapes and sizes, so it's important to get a pair that fit your face well. Uh, if you're wearing a helmet, then bring that in and try it on with your goggles to make sure there's no big gaps around it and everything fits nice and securely. With goggles, it's definitely a case if you get what you pay for. The more you go up in price, the more technologies are available to help you enjoy your time on the mountain. But if you've got any questions at all, just ask us in the comments below or pop in and speak to one of our staff.